The Mark 19 is a belt-fed, blowback-operated, air-cooled, crew-served, fully automatic weapon that is designed not to cook off rounds. It fires 40 millimeter grenades at a cyclic rate of 325 to 375 rounds per minute. The Mark 19 can launch a grenade at a maximum distance of 2,212 meters. Though it has the effective range of a point target at 1,500 meters with the leaf sight fully graduated. How are we doing the Marines? My name is Sarah McDonald. I'm a combat instructor with the Machine Gun Weapons Instructor Group with Infantry Training Battalion, School of Infantry East. Today we're going to be covering the clearing, disassembly, reassembly, and function check with a Mark 19 grenade machine gun. First thing you're going to do is you're going to clear it out. So you're going to put both your hands on the charger assemblies, palms down. You're going to grab it, you're going to push in on the button below the actual handle to get the charger assembly to unlock and move to the down position. Once it's in the down position, you pull the bolts to the rear as hard as possible. At that point, you're going to push one charger assembly forward. You're going to put the weapon on safe, maintain positive control with that other hand. Put the weapon on safe, and you're going to grab your handle assembly. You're going to grab your, go to your reference point in between your cover and the rear side assembly. You're going to put the handle assembly down into the receiver, sweep back to the face of the bolt, and you're going to pop up, make sure there's no round on the face of that chamber. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your head down and away. You're going to open that cover. You're going to sweep the feed pulse on the feed slide moving the secondary drive lever over to the right position. You're going to sweep the feeder to make sure there's no rounds on the actual feeder. Then you're going to go inside the chamber with your entire hand, visually and physically inspecting that chamber from chamber to bolt face. Make sure there's no rounds and no ammunition inside the chamber. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to put it on fire. You're going to hammer fist the trigger, ride the bolt home, sound off clear. Then you close the cover. You're going to move around to the front. You're going to straddle the barrel. You're going to open the cover. You're going to cry chop this secondary drive lever out from the top portion of the cover. Hit it once, you put the cover in your chest, keep it at 90 degrees. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to drop that feed throat. Put the feed throat on the ground, and you're going to pull the pins on the actual cover. You need it at 90 degrees because on these pins there's a little nipple that lines up with the cover and the feed tray. If it's not fully up, you're not going to be able to pull the pins out. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to put the cover down on the ground, and you put the pins inside the hole. You need this front side blade up because that's what you use to sight in with your rear sight. So you don't want to put it down where the top of the cover is on the ground because you might mess up that front side blade. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to pull out your secondary drive lever. You're going to slide your feed slide over to where it hits the cutout so you can pull it out of the feed tray. And you're going to pull the feed tray out. You're going to put the feed tray and the feed slide down on the ground, shiny side up. You don't want to damage any of the shiny stuff on these actual parts. Next thing you're going to do, your tool is going to be your secondary drive lever. You're going to reach in and you're going to flick out your alignment guide. Once it unlocks, you can go ahead and pull it out. Pull your OGI plunger out in through the receiver. You're going to push in and towards you on that round positioning block, unlocking you from the actual receiver. And you're just going to put all those parts down. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to move to the back of the gun. You're going to take your handle assembly again. You're going to line it up with this back plate pin. You're going to line it up and hit it out. Once it comes out, you're good. You can pull that bolt out. All you're going to do is set the bolt on the mat and let it sit there. Then you're going to pull the pin on your Mark 93 mount to unlock the receiver from the actual mount. So you pull the pin, put it back in the mount just a little bit so you don't lose it, and then you're going to put the actual receiver in your knee. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to pull, unlock the vertical cam assembly and the primary drive lever and pull them out of the receiver. All you're going to do to set them down is put them right on that traversing bar to make sure you don't lose them. Next thing you got is your charger assemblies. To unlock it, there's a pin right here that you need to pull out and hit back on the charger assembly. Put it inside the receiver so you don't lose it. Same thing with the other one. Pull out of the pin, pull it to the back so it unlocks the receiver, put it inside the receiver. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna pull that sear off. The front end, the front left of the sear has a lock pin. You gotta pinch and pull down on the lock pin, pinch on the back of the receiver and turn at the same time. Once you turn it, you can let go of the lock pin and just push up and out, twist it to perpendicular receiver, pull it off and that's fully disassembled. To reassemble it, all you're going to do is you're going to take that sear, put it back perpendicular to the receiver the way you had it when you took it off, line up the sear with the hole on the inside of the receiver, turn it until it stops. Once it stops, you need to press that sear, turn all the way until it locks. Once it's locked, you're going to put it back in your knee so you can do your charger assemblies. You're going to take the charger assemblies. The back has a, a lock or a, a pin, the front has two pins. So all you got to do is line up that back one with the, the back cut on the receiver, line up the middle, the front push in and up. Same thing with the other side. 
line up the back, middle, front, push in, and lock it down. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna put that gun back in the mount. So you line it back up, push the pin on the mount, and it locks it back into the mount. And you're gonna grab your vertical cam assembly. Put a vertical cam assembly in, there's a cutout in the front of it that matches up with a cutout on the receiver. You're gonna line it up in the back. This top portion should be outside the receiver, and then the bottom of it should be lined up with the receiver. You're gonna line it up, Make sure that front end lines up at the same time. Hold it there in place, grab your primary drive lever. The big post in the back is what goes inside the receiver and attaches to the vertical cam assembly. Put it in, push up on the primary drive lever. Then you gotta relock it back in with the locking mechanism on the vertical cam assembly. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab that bolt, put the bolt in, you need to make sure that cocking lever is fully forward. If it's to the back, it's you're gonna hit that receiver. You're not gonna be able to put the bolt in. So all you do is make sure that cocking lever's forward, line it up, push it until it stops. Once it stops, you need to press on that sear to push it back forward. It's gonna stop again. Once that happens, you depress the sear again, push it all the way forward until it lines up. Once it lines up, you hold it in place. Pin goes right to left again. Put the pin in, hammer it all the way in as far as you can go without actually hurting yourself. Then you move back to the front of the gun. You're gonna grab your round positioning block, your alignment guide, and your ogive plunger. You're gonna take that ogive plunger, and you're gonna put this long portion in through the receiver so it's coming back out of the receiver. You're gonna grab your round positioning block. This flat part right here goes towards you, the springs go to your left. You line it up with the cutouts in the receiver, push in and away from you, and it locks back in. And you're gonna take the fat portion of the alignment guide, line it up with the inside of the uh, round positioning block, line up the post with the hole, make sure it locks fully to the left. Next, thing you're gonna grab your feed tray, your feed slide your secondary drive lever. Your feed tray goes shiny side down now. The back portion where the holes are lines up the holes on the receiver. Line it up, let it sit. Next thing, your feed slide. The spring needs to go to your right and you need to line up these cutouts with the cutouts in the feed tray. Line it up, slide it over. Once it slides over, you can take your secondary drive lever. On the inside of the feed slide is a post. The secondary drive lever fork lines up with that post. Slide it over, line it up, and let it sit. Next thing you're gonna grab your cover and your two pins. Again, your cover needs to be at 90 degrees because of those nipples on that actual pin. They need to be up. So as you do it, you put it put in your chest just to hold it, don't put any pressure. Line up the pins, push them all the way in. You don't need to hammer them in. If you hammer them in because you have it wrong, you're gonna break the nipples on the actual pin. Once that happens, you grab your uh, secondary drive lever, and you're gonna lift up on the feed tray, feed slide, everything right there. You're gonna line up the post on the secondary drive lever with the hole in the cover. You're gonna push it in, make sure it fully seats, then you're gonna slide it to your left. So you can actually line up the secondary drive lever with that primary drive lever. You're gonna close the cover, grab your feed throat. Because you didn't get the pin in all the time, the whole way when you put it in the first time, you're gonna take your feed throat, hit that pin, make sure it fully seats. Then you're gonna take your feed throat, and you're gonna line up the bottom two nipples with the holes in the actual receiver. Line it up, push down on the top two nipples, so it fully lines up, give it a little push to make sure it actually uh, lined up properly. And you're gonna go back and you do a function check. You're gonna pull that bolt to the rear. You're gonna put one charger assembly forward. You're gonna put the weapon on safe, attempt to fire. It should not fire. You're gonna put the weapon on fire, hammer fist, ride it home, it should fire. That Marines is a clear, disassemble, reassemble, and functions check of the Mark 19.